What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video we have an important update to the Torin jailbreak. It's actually a pretty great update. It was released a couple of days ago. I was gone for a couple of days so I couldn't cover it at the time but let's discuss about it because it's actually quite important. So as you probably know Torin jailbreak supports iOS 14.0 to 14.3 which unfortunately are not currently signed. You can check out the signing status here on my website iDeviceCentral.com on the iOS signing status. So you can see 14.3 and lower are no longer signed. However, if you are running 14.3 or lower, you can jailbreak with Torin and this jailbreak is actually quite modern. It doesn't come with Cydia, it comes with something much better and that is the Cilio, which is indeed much better, it's faster, it's much more modern, built with Swift, so it does work better than Cydia, which is of course a dead project, is no longer being updated and of course Soric has dropped it a long time ago, while the Cilio is actively developed by the Cilio team or the Odyssey team, which is great. So if you've been using another jailbreak and you always wanted to give it a try, this is the best moment to give it a try. Now the version 1.0.7 has been released back on August 19. As I said, I'm a little bit late to the party, I was very very busy and I wasn't at home so I wasn't able to make a video when it was released two days ago. But let me talk a little bit about this. This is an important update because it brings recovery menu to it. And this would basically save you in case of a boot loop. You will no longer lose your device to a boot loop if something goes wrong or for example a file gets corrupted during a user space reboot and so on. So the new feature here in the Torin has the potential to actually save your device from a boot loop. Many many people had boot loops before and that's not a pleasant experience by any means. When you get a boot loop basically your device is no longer booting to the normal iOS. It just keeps on showing the Apple logo again and again and again and that is a boot loop. The only solution to get out of that is to update to whatever is the latest version at the moment that is sign. Let's say you're running 14.3 right now and your device boot loops because of a bad tweak or because of a problem with the jailbreak. Well unfortunately your only option would be to update the 14.7.1 which is currently signed but at that point you will not be able to jailbreak anymore because this one only works up to 14.3 for the moment. So what Torin introduces in here is a safety feature called recovery menu or startup repair. It says in here quote includes new recovery utilities including startup repair. Startup repair will fix any bootloop issue caused by a file being corrupted during user space reboot. Recovery menu can be manually activated by adding a file named .libhooker underscore recovery to your root folder and then initiated via a user space reboot. So that's great because this one would prevent a lot of the cases where your device would just bootloop and this is pretty great. So if you want to benefit from this feature you would definitely have to update 1.0.7. To do so you have multiple options including installation via alt store or reprovision, you can add the alt store repo in here or you can just get the plain IPA file, you download it and you will be able to use something like sideloadly in order to install it. To use sideloadly you press in here on the sideloadly after you get it, you drag the IPA file in here with your device connected like this in here and you will be able to press start and that's it. You're going to be able to see how it gets installed and it's pretty easy. I've actually made a tutorial on my website, you can go ahead in here on the iDeviceCentral.com and there is in here a tutorial on how to install uncovered jailbreak but this one works for Torin as well. The procedure is the same and you can see in here all the steps in order to use the side loadly. It's actually pretty simple and there are also some troubleshooting steps in here in case you get some errors. It's important to mention that the side loadly works on both Windows and Mac OS. So as you can see it says done in here and now I have the latest Torin installed on my phone. Let's check it out. So as you can see it's now available here, this is the Torin jailbreak. Unfortunately my device is not supported because I'm running 14.7.1 on this device but you can see that this is basically how it would look like and you do have all the settings in here that's basically all it has so yes it does work right now as you can see and you should definitely update your jailbreak to the latest version in order to benefit from those new safety features which can prevent you from losing your jailbreak and of course from having a boot loop. Thank you for watching I am GS Now. till the next time peace out.